Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the default boot device missing or boot failed error on a Lenovo laptop. This issue prevents the PC from booting into Windows. I'll be demonstrating practical ways to resolve this issue. With that said, let's get started. Method 1. Unplug any peripheral devices. Having an external hard drive or flash drive plugged into the PC while it's booting can cause the boot failed error message. This happens because the computer may automatically prioritize the external drive which has no windows on it as the first boot device. Removing the external drive can resolve this issue. Unplug all external drives from the PC, power it on again, and see if it works. After unplugging the drives, press Ctrl plus Alternate plus Delete to restart the PC. If the problem persists, proceed to the next method. Method 2. Change Boot Order. The default boot device missing or boot failed error on Lenovo laptops may be caused by an incorrect boot sequence. To fix this issue, we need to make changes in the BIOS and retry booting. Power off the laptop. Power it on again and continuously press the F2 key on your keyboard to open the BIOS environment. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate to the Boot tab. If the boot mode is set to UEFI, press enter and change it to legacy support. Under the boot priority, set it to UEFI first. After making these changes, press F10 to save and exit. Press enter on keyboard to select yes. This should fix your computer, and it should now boot into Windows. Method 3, Load Default BIOS Settings Loading the default BIOS settings can often resolve no boot device found error by resetting the boot order and other critical settings to their factory defaults. This process can correct any incorrect configurations that might be preventing your laptop from booting properly. Power off the laptop. Turn the laptop back on and continuously press the F2 key on your keyboard. This will open the BIOS setup utility. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move to the exit tab. Highlight load default settings or load setup defaults and press enter. Press Enter on keyboard to select Yes. This action will reset the BIOS to its factory default settings, which can correct any issues with the boot sequence. Press F10 to save the changes and exit. The problem should be resolved, allowing it to boot into Windows. Method 4. Check your hard drive. If your hard disk drive or solid state drive which is the bootable drive, is not seated correctly, it could lead to no boot device found error because your computer will fail to detect it when booting up Windows. To check if it's properly connected, 
power off the laptop. Carefully loosen the screws and remove the back cover of your laptop. Locate the drive and check if it is properly connected to the motherboard, ensuring there are no loose connections. If you notice any loose or shaky connections, carefully disconnect and then reconnect the drive to ensure it is firmly seated. By ensuring that the hard drive is properly connected, you can resolve issues where the computer fails to detect the bootable drive. Turn on your laptop and see if it now successfully boots into Windows. Method 5. Crashed Hard Drive. If you have followed all the previous methods and the problem still persists, it might be that your hard disk drive has failed or crashed. In this case, you would need to replace it and reinstall Windows. To check if the disk has crashed, power on the laptop and press F2 to enter the BIOS. Under the information section, check to see if the hard drive is listed. If it is present, it will show the model number just like mine. If it's showing not detected and you are sure it's properly connected to the board, it's a clear indication that the drive has crashed. This means you need to replace the drive and reinstall Windows. For guide on installing Windows with a bootable flash drive, Check out my previous video linked in the description section below. Alright that is it for this video, if this helps, subscribe and click on the like icon.